Welcome to Regina Decor Carmeli dot Faith, educating for eternity. After examining Mary in a number of episodes, and if you haven't actually caught up, you're more than welcome to subscribe to this channel. I will leave the links on all the actual episodes that we've had on Mary. In this episode, we will examine apparitions of Mary. She is our mother, and Jesus has throughout the centuries sent his mother to our aid. Whether it's through a message of hope, or of warning, or a reminder of our duties as faithful followers of her son. Coming up in this episode, we will examine a significant apparition, and a very much for our troubled 20th and 21st century. Can a person appear from the afterlife? The Old Testament and the New Testament is filled with messages from beyond. God himself appears as a burning bush before Moses in Exodus 1. The angels appearing and interacting with humanity right throughout the Old and the New Testament. For example, we hear after the birth of Jesus, the shepherds who were greeted by the glorifying angels to the come to the birth of the newborn king. Cornelius also saw an angel of God in a vision in the Acts of the Apostles. Also, we hear of the angel appeared to St. Paul in the Acts. And there were two angels seated when Jesus' body had been buried. There were two men in white clothing at the Ascension. And also some entered angels, which we people were unaware that they were angels as well. Raphael, also an angel, who appears in human form, is sent to Tobit and also to Sarah. We also hear of the angel Gabriel, he interpreted the dreams of David, and also the announcement of the birth of John the Baptist, as well as the birth of Jesus. Moses and Elijah also appear to the apostles at the transfiguration of the Lord, and many more. So yes, Afterlife communication with the saints and the angels do occur. After all, Jesus, following his resurrection, also appeared to Mary Magdalene, Mary his mother, the apostles, and many of the followers who also witnessed him. So why would it be impossible? So why would it be impossible that the Blessed Mother would not be given such a privilege? After all, aren't we her children? Isn't she our mother, our advocate, our hope, and our, our path to her son, Jesus? And the answer to that is absolutely. Our first apparition we want to examine today is known by the title of Our Lady of Good Success. This apparition dates back to the 16th century and also the early part of the 17th century. It contains a miraculous statue which can be seen today. And it also gives us insight into the future events, both for Quito, Ecuador, and also for the 20th and the 21st century. Born in Spain in 1563, Mariana Francesca de Jesus Torres left her home at the very young age of 13 years to help found a convent at the Conceptionist in Quito, Ecuador. She would be guided by her holy aunt, Mother Maria de Tabauda. She made her solemn profession of religious vows in 1579. And as a virtuous and very holy nun, Mother Mariana suffered tremendous persecutions, even within the convent itself. However, she was also privileged with mystical favours and heavenly visions. Having been elected as abbess of the convent, she was imprisoned four times by the sisters. And there was one particular rebellious nun, nun called the Captain, La Captain, or Al Captain. The main rebellious nun, called Captain, would suffer the eternal fires of hell had it not been for Mother Mariana, who accepted to do penance by experiencing the torments of hell for five years, just to save this rebellious nun. What is even more remarkable is that the archives of the convent indicate that Mother Mariana actually died three times 
She was found to be unconscious. The Blessed Mother Mary asked for a statue in her honour, which would be titled Our Lady of Good Success. And this statue had a very miraculous finish to it. And it was completed by the angels after being commenced by a local sculptor, Francesco del Castillo, who had finished the actual statue itself, but travelled overseas to find some dyes to give it a bit more life and a bit of colouring, and to return back to find the statue was already completed. Our Lady herself assisted Mother Mariana in gaining the proper measurements of the statue, which measures five feet nine. Our Blessed Mother explained to Mother Miriam the reason for her statue and that her son and our Lord desire that this statue be made for two main reasons. Firstly, to show that she is a powerful in obtaining the divine mercy, the divine justice and pardon for every sinner. Mary is our mother of mercy. And secondly, for the daughters of the convent, that they would always see that she is giving to them the most holy son and their God, as a model of religious perfection. She asked that they imitate her humility, obedience, spirit of sacrifice, and absolute dependence on the divine will. The Blessed Mother foretold the death of Mariana on February the 7th, 1634. And she also predicted the future events, a number of events. Some of them have already taken place and maybe some of them we are living in our particular era today. The Blessed Mother foretold the dogma of the Immaculate Conception, which was declared by Pius IX in 1854. And the dogma of the Assumption, which was also declared by Pius XII in 1950. And in the most revealing part of these ongoing apparitions, the Blessed Mother gave insight into the 20th and also the 21st century. The Blessed Mother prophesies that a truly Catholic president in Ecuador in the 19th century would dedicate the country to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And Ecuador would be given special graces However, the president, Don Gabriel Garcia Moreno, would meet an untimely death on August the 6th, 1875, because he was assassinated. His last words before his death were, quote, I am dying, but God does not die. For our times, the lady foretold the following, quote, there will be an almost complete and universal decline in morality. In those unhappy times, an unlimited luxury will come about, which will lead many, many people astray into sin. How many frivolous souls will be lost forever? Innocence will often be found, will not be found. Innocence will not be found anymore in children, nor modesty in women. The sacrament of matrimony, which symbolizes the communion of Christ and his church, will be attacked and profaned. Disgraceful laws will make it very easy to live in sin. Children will be born without being received into the communion of the church. The devil will try ceaselessly through wicked men with great power to annihilate the sacrament of penance. The same will happen with Holy Communion. Ah, uh, how it pains me to have to reveal to you the many horrifying sacrileges that will occur both publicly, publicly and also in secret through the profanation of the Holy Eucharist. During this time, people will think little of extreme unction, but many of them will die without receiving it. The sacrament of holy orders will be ridiculed, suppressed, and despised. The devil will try to persecute the priests of the Lord in every possible way. With subtle cunning, he will work to draw them away from the spirit of their vocation and to ruin many of them. About the priests in our times, the Blessed Mother goes on to say, quote, These vicious and immoral priests 
who will cause a scandal among the Christian people, will stir up the hatred of many bad Catholics and of the enemies of the Roman Catholic Apostolic Church, so that it falls on all priests in this situation of utmost affliction within the church, some who ought to speak will remain mute. The Mother of God says also, however, that in that time of the crisis in faith foretold for the 20th century, God will send a prelate, a bishop, who will renew the Catholic priesthood. Pray urgently and ask our Father in heaven to put an end to such sinister times as soon as possible for the love of the Eucharist, heart of my most holy Son, and to send to the church of that time a prelate who will restore the character of his priest. After all this, Mother Mariana is found unconscious. Mother Mariana was provided with tremendous insight into our world. Mother Mariana performed tremendous acts of reparation and penance for our times. She was found dead when she saw the horrors of our world. Wow. It is simply and truly frightening. But it is a message for all of us to take heed and change our ways back to a contrite heart, loving Jesus and his mother. To think our future was predicted some 400 years ago. The Blessed Virgin Mary also revealed to Mother Mariana that this devotion to Our Lady of Good Success and that her name will be largely forgotten. And it's so true. I know for myself, I only heard about it a few years ago. But we must thank our Mother and our Lord that we have discovered this wonderful apparition of Our Lady of Good Success and also the dire warning and hope for our particular world, for our centuries. If you would like to read more about the life of Mother Mariana and the apparitions and messages, I will put a link to the actual books in the description. And they're written by Marian Therese Horvat. The first one is called Stories and Miracles of Our Lady of Good Success. And then you also can read about the life of actually Mother Mariana. It's called The Admiral Life of Mother Mariana, Volumes 1 and 2. It is quite a very good read. It's a translation from the actual archives where they actually found the, the, the life of Mother Mariana. If you have enjoyed this episode and you've seen some insight for yourself in order to inspire your life, to change your life, and you would like to learn more about the Catholic faith, please subscribe to our channel and also you can see that under the description I have links to all the particular episodes that we have covered about Mary especially. Thank you for your time and God be with you.